Welcome to Riverside TV, sponsored by Riverside Collectibles. I'm your host, Doug Wrench, and today we're going to be reviewing CMC Models 118th scale diecast model of the Mercedes Benz W154 Grand Prix car from 1938. Now, this particular car it was the first year for a new engine formula, so this would have been a brand new car in 1938. Uh, it's had a supercharged V12 which would have called by the regulations for a limit of three liters. It produced 485 horsepower. Um, as you can see, and we'll go in closer and take a look at it, you can see the engine offset uh, to one side so that the, the drive shafts allowed to, to, to pass on the left side of the driver so he can sit lower in the car for better streamlining. It's got a five-speed transaxle in the back even though it's a front engine so it's a gearbox and, and differential in the back has a Dion style rear which is kind of a semi independent uh, type of suspension which means it's got a both both wheels are connected together by a like a hollow pipe but there are half shafts with um, universal joints in them so it is kind of a semi independent suspension uh, all the famous Mercedes, Mercedes drivers Drove this car, uh, Caracciola, Van Braukage, Lang, Dick Seaman. This particular model represents the T car or practice car driven by Dick Seaman at the Donington Grand Prix in England in 1938. Um, it is available. It's a model M-099, and there are two other versions available. This car we'll talk about at the end of the video. Now, if we take a chance to move in and look a little bit closer we'll see some very good engine detail a big 3 liter supercharged V12 um, this is a very very large car so that engine is really really packed in there that's a big engine you can see the two two superchargers the engine detail the cams cam covers nice louver work on the side fairly small exhaust pipe considering how how, how big that engine is in the car um, always like to give a good look at the tires and wheels on a CMC car. Uh, when they're real wires like this one, boy, they, re they really look great. They're spun rims, they're spun hubs. They actually come off right and left hand thread. Tires are molded beautifully. You can see all the detail on them. If we move around towards the front, you'll see the grill area, which has the numbers painted right over the grill, which they would have on the actual car. That would have been common practice. Uh, look back into the front suspension, the front brakes. You can see huge front brakes taking up all the, all that room in those big front wheels. We'll move down the other side of the car. Look into the cockpit, and you'll see here's a you know typical of CMC's uh, attention to detail. It's got a racing seat with a blue fabric cover that all the Mercedes Benz has had back then. Beautiful rim. Wood rim seat uh, steering wheel is perfectly uh, replicated. This particular car, you can see the huge tail section. Um, a supercharged engine with God knows how much boost running through it used a lot of fuel. So this tail section has a big fuel tank in it, and there was also a fuel tank over the driver's legs, which is a little bit scary. Move towards the back. We can see this Dion rear that we talked about earlier. It's that big pipe right in the middle. That just connect had no driveline components in that it just connected the two wheels together and now if we look up a little closer maybe we can see the the half shafts with independent joints that actually came out of the gearbox so it's a semi independent suspension we'll move right around the other side and i think it's kind of neat that you see these these um trailing uh, these radius rods coming out and they have these lightning holes drilled in them which was very common with indie cars in the late 40s and early 50s and with hot rodders so there 1938 mercedes-benz was doing that so over, overall great model from cmc and again this is the model m-099 which is the t car um, that dick seaman would have drove 20, number 25 on the front on the grill the number 16 car driven in the race by dick seaman at the donnington grand prix in 1938 is also available, model M-098. And if you want, just want a plain car without any numbers at all, 
it was their first model of it, which is an M025. And all three are currently available. They're a great model, and as are all the CMC cars. And uh, I just wanted to give it a nice review and have you take a good, hard look at it because it's awful hard to tell what they look like in a, you know, in a picture. You get really get up close in the video. really gives you a true representation of what these models are all about in this fa fabulous detail. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time on Riverside TV. I'm Doug Wrench, and thanks for watching.